The first area I am going to share with you is my hot work area or my hot bench. This bench itself is actually a wooden bench but has half inch terracotta tiles on the surface to protect the wood from flames as I am soldering and brazing. I do not work directly on the surface of the terracotta tiles but rather on top of fire bricks. I have two types, a light fire brick, the white ones that you see the actual forge sitting on, and more of a tannish, thinner fire brick that I have found more useful. That's a harder brick and easier to use in a variety of ways when I'm soldering, brazing, or annealing. If you look at my bench itself, on the far right hand side, there is a forge. I do create tools using a forge. Uh, they might be chisels or punches or stakes that I form metal over or other items. I also use the forge at times to actually forge copper where I get it red hot and forge it either on an anvil or over a stake to create a particular piece. If you look a little bit closer, there are a couple items on my bench that are of interest. The first now in the center of the picture are the various supports I use to take and hold copper off of the fire bricks while I am working. In the fire brick in the front you see four triangular shaped kiln posts that are sitting on top of the fire brick. In the back of the picture you see a stack of other kiln posts that I also use for the same purpose of different sizes. There is also an electronic spark igniter I use to light my torches. There is a can full of clamps. These are similar to small vice grips and things that I use to clamp my metal. Some specialized jigs. A weighted hold down to the immediate left of the electronic starter. And a pan that I created that is full of lava rock. This pan is actually a stainless steel cooking pan, which I epoxied to a turntable mount, which allows me to set things in it when I need to turn them while I'm heating them, uh, because the pan itself will turn. There's also additional fire bricks and just odds and ends. The large tank that you see is actually, the blue one, is actually a heated tank of mild acid, sodium bisulfate, that I use to um, clean copper off um, or pickle copper after I've soldered or annealed it. That tank I bring up to about 120 degrees when I put the metal in in 10-15 minutes any scale or other dirt that's been formed on the copper by the brazing, welding, or annealing process loosens and it's then very easy to clean the piece off with a piece of steel wool. I have moved my position to be looking a little bit into the corner next to my fire bench or my hot bench. You will notice there that there's a whole stack of copper pipe I use copper pipe of various sizes as a starting point for making things such as fountains and vases and boxes and such. There are also a variety of gas hoses that you can see sitting here in the corner. I keep my oxygen and my propane outside of the building for safety purposes. It's regulated outside to a lower pressure then brought in and further regulated here in the shop. I have two torches that I use, one for welding and brazing, that's the one on the right, and one on the left that's called a rosebud torch that we use for annealing. I also use a plumber's torch and you can see the top of that at the bottom of this picture that I use for soldering. That's an acetylene torch. So I use an acetylene torch as well as oxyacetylene and oxypropane torches. Immediately in front of my hot bench there is also an anvil. 
I use the anvil when I'm making tools and also when I'm doing things such as folded metal work to create leaves and those types of items or to forge heavier copper into specific pieces. The bench immediately in front of us right now is my stake bench. It's called that because of the variety of stakes that are hung on the wall and in the stake plate that is attached to the bench. A stake bench is used to form metal. The stakes on the stake plate right now are a blowhorn stake and a candle mold stake or a candlestick stake. There is also laying on the bench a conductor stake. Behind the stakes there's a variety of different sizes of punches and on the wall there's also additional stakes such as mushroom stakes, forming stakes, coppersmith stakes, and even uh, stakes such as hatchet stakes on the far left and a needle case stake on the far right. These are all traditionally both coppersmithing and tinsmithing tools. Also sitting on my stake bench is a tool that I've made to form various vases over. The tool is actually just a cradle of steel that I drop steel rods or pipes into that I can slip copper over and that plate or that stand then I can set on my workbench and then work in patterns into copper vases. One of the videos I hope to do will show how that is done. Right behind that the item you see with the red material in off to the right is actually rosin that is used for forming um, materials in. In front of us now is a general bench, workbench that I use, and it has on it my vise and several varieties of hand tools that I use. You can see a selection of pliers, screwdrivers, cutters, a variety of uh, sheet metal shears and other sheet metal tools, measurement tools, and additional shears. It's also loaded with things like copper rivets and such. Also on this bench is located my Fordham flexible shaft tool. This is one of the most important tools of those that I use because it allows me to do fine detail work and cleanup work on the copper where I make. You also notice there is a face shield hanging there. I use a face shield all the time when I'm using any power tools whatsoever, whether it be the flexible shaft tool or my saws or drills or any other power tools, um, grinders, because I do not want to end up with copper shards in my eye. It's not worth the risk.